Tonight's starting lineups beginning with the Bedford Whalers. Number one, Vanessa Boucher. Number two, Tanner Reese. Number three, Alexa Thompson. Number 22, Sydney Ramos. And number 24, Savannah Gordon. The coach of the New Mexico Whalers are Jordan Davina and Gretchen Rodriguez. Now, the starting line up here, Robin Boxer. Testing, testing. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay, just move down. that way.
sure you don't stop recording. Hmm? Just continue recording. Okay. Even for like half half time. Okay, got it. And we welcome everybody here to the Lady Boxers Basketball. Sorry for the technical difficulties, but we've got a 3-2 ball game. Only points scored by the Lady Boxers are uh, Miss Dingle. And there's a nice two points there by number 11, Nal Nalani Montero. It's 5-2 boxer lead late in this uh, first quarter, 3.55 left, actually halfway through the first quarter. So at the free throw line is number three for, uh, for uh, New Bedford, Alexia Thompson. This is Miles Jackson bringing you all the action here at Staff Gymnasium. This is BCA Sports. Best sports you will see in New England. It's five to three. And Thompson will take her second free throw attempt. And it's no good. And it'll be Brock's ball. 
Nice play by Madison, and there'll be a timeout. Brockton, so we got a timeout with 3.53 left on the clock. It's a low-scoring game at the moment, 5-3. to three. As you saw earlier when this game first started, New Bedford put on a press against Brockton, and Brockton has responded pretty well. I believe they lost one, one of those um, passes was intercepted. New Bedford could not capitalize, but uh, it's been a close game so far here at Staff Gymnasium. Coach for Brockton is Morgan Thatcher, and the head coach for New Bedford is Jordan Pina. He's in his seventh season. I believe Morgan's in her second season. I could be wrong, but I believe it's her second season, possibly third. She's done a pretty good job with these lady boxes. Just about the whole team from last year is gone, so this is a brand new team. for the Lady Boxes. And they will inbound it. Press. Boxes somehow, somehow come out of that press there. That's Cherry at the top. Throws it up, no good. the boxes and there's a whistle and that's gonna be I believe on number 23 Madison first shot is good Makes it five to four, one point box a lead. That's Bucha, a sophomore at the free throw line. And her second attempt is no good, but it looks like the whale has got the ball. Get it inside. And they dribble it off the line, so it'll be Boxes ball. Good defense by the lead. Boxes right there. And here come the Boxes. Off the glass. That was Dingle. Nice job by the Boxes on that press. They was able to break it real quickly. Shot is up and no good. Rebound Lady Whalers and no good. And it's gonna be New Bedford's ball. With 3.01 left in this first quarter. Boxers with a three point lead, 7-4. Lady Whale Whalers have it out top. Shot is no good. Vasquez goes in the paint, puts it in. Vasquez, a junior, smallest lady out there on the court at the moment, but she made a big shot in the paint. Boxes have a one point lead, 7 6, with 2.36 left in this first quarter. So the boxes will take it out. That's King that will inbound it. In the corner. King takes a long bomb, it's no good off the glass. And back come the Lady Wheelers. Lead pass to Vasquez and she plays it up and in. Nice job controlling that ball. The junior guard, number four, Vasquez, makes her mark just as she gets in. That's a couple of points for her. Excuse me, that's four points for uh, Vasquez, I believe. And Smartly, Brockton calls a timeout with 2.19 left on the clock. And right now, the Lady Whalers has, has taken the lead, 8-7.
and the boxers really have to figure out what to do on that um, trap, on that press. And New Bedford has taken advantage with that press, put a lot of pressure on the Lady Boxes to um, bring the ball down. So they come back out on the court. And it's going to be boxer ball. Ball is stolen. And somehow Brockton gets it back. Good hustle by Travaris and Montero dribbles it out of bounds. Pressure from uh, Vasquez. So the Lady Whalers have it. They get it in the paint. And number 23 lays it up and in. That was Burke, the sophomore. Again, New Bedford with the press. They get it, Chivari. She lays it up and no good. And they're going to call a foul on, I believe, Montero. And uh, that was a good foul. That's number two, Rez Tatum Reese, a sophomore. This whole um, New Bedford Lady Whalers team, there's not one senior on this team. They're all junior sophomores, and uh, we got uh, one freshman. <laughs> on this young Lady Whaler team, and they look promising. Because they'll all be back next year. Long pass to Dingle. Little bounce pass. Back out top, Dingle takes the bomb, and in good! And she's fouled! So a chance for a four-point play right there. That, that was three points that the boxers definitely needed. Makes it 12-10. Melissa Dingle. Malaysia Dingle. Pardon me. So it's a two-point whale of lead. Long bomb is no good. Back up, no good. Ball is stuffed. And the Whalers come out of there again with the ball. Their third offensive rebound, and there's a foul right there. And I believe they're going to call it on uh, number three. Madison. So she'll, sh she'll, through, uh, she'll shoot three. That's Bailey Burke at the free throw line of sophomore. And she makes her first free throw attempt. Second free throw attempt is no good. Rebound, Travaris. Long bomb pass. And she lays it up and in. Nice pass by Travaris to Madison. And New Bedford comes right back in a nice block. Defensive play by the Lady Boxes. Ball is stolen and back comes New Bedford. Vasquez lays it up and in. And that was a nice job, defensive job by the Whalers to capitalize quickly. Dingle with the ball. Drive to the basket, no good. Madison going hard to the basket. 29 seconds left in this first quarter. 
And New Bedford has the ball. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Shot is no good in and out. And with 16 seconds left, the boxers lose control of the ball and it'll go right back to, to the Lady Whalers with 13 seconds left on the clock. So here we go. Vasquez up top. She's gonna take the three off the rim. And the first quarter is over, folks, here at Staff Gymnasium. Your New Bedford Whale is up 15 to 12. And the boxes really have to do something about that press that New Bedford's putting on them. You're really gonna have to um, adjust to that press because New Bedford has started to take advantage, getting some points off the um, pressure defense that they're applying to um, the lady boxes as they, as they try to inbound the ball. I'm Miles Jackson here at uh, Staff Gymnasium at Brockton High School. And this is BCA Sports. And we've got Coach Morgan Thatcher talking to her team, trying to figure out what they have to do. to counter the uh, Lady Whaler press. I believe another thing the Lady Box is gonna have to do, they're gonna do a little bit better job on the defensive boards because New Bedford is getting too many second and third attempts on their rebounds. So the boxes are back on the court along with the Lady Whalers. And it'll be boxer ball, I believe. So boxers bring it over half court. Shot is up and in! That was Nelani Montero, nice shot. She went right to the basket, didn't waste no time. Shot is no good. Long three, blocked by the Lady Boxes. New Bedford retains the ball. And travel. So nice defensive um, play right there for the Lady Boxes. Chirara's looking for somebody. That's Dingle with the ball in the corner. And she'll bring it back out top. Throws it up and in. In and out. It's a 15-14. New Bedford lead with 7-11 on the clock here in the second quarter. And the Lady Boxers will get it back with a fresh 30 seconds on the shot clock. Chavares inbounds it. Inside, Chavares tries to throw it up there, no good. But the Lady Boxes have the rebound back to Chavares and she is fouled. Ball almost went in, but she will go to the free throw line to shoot two. And that foul was on Ramos. Sydney Ramos, a junior for New Bedford. So Jazz Laney misses her first free throw attempt. Second one is no good. And there was a infraction on the Lady Boxers, so it'll be Lady Whalers, they get it up quickly. Drive to the basket is no good. But the Whalers 
get the rebound. Shot is good. That was Alexia Thompson, so the Lady Whalers take advantage of the offensive board. Again, the Fox has got to work on that defense. And New Bedford's really putting some pressure on the, on the um, Lady Boxes to get that ball over half court. Dingle. In the corner. That's King with the ball. She tries to get inside, but it's stolen. And here comes Vasquez, and she just missed a shot. Good defense by Lady Boxes, and Vasquez almost steals it from Dingle, but she recovers. In the paint. And Vasquez comes out of there with the basketball. A little sloppy play there by the Lady Boxes on offense there. And they're gonna call a foul. They're gonna call a foul on Burke. And Burke will come out as uh, 14 comes in for the Whalers. In the corner. Underneath the basket, and they're gonna call travel. It was a nice idea, but unfortunately the ball, either she stepped out of bounds or the ball hit the um, the out of bounds right underneath the basket. Good pressure by the Whalers. Shot is in and out. And Dingle brings it up. Seventeen fourteen. New Bedford's up by three. They're gonna call travel again. That was on Madison. Drives to the basket, no good. And nice defense by Travaris as she went up strong and was fouled. 4.46 left in the second quarter. Ooh, nice pass. Oh, nice pass by number three, Madison, to number 34. In Wusu, long bomb is no good. Rebound, Travaris. Back home the Lady Boxes. Ball is going to be Brockton's. So the Lady Boxes are only one point down with 4.23 on the clock. 17 to 16. Tight ball game here in the first half. Long shot is good. That was number 23 for the boxes. Madison and New Bedford calls a timeout. Brockton takes a two-point lead with 4.18 on the clock, and they've got a little momentum going here. Got their offense going just a little bit, a little back-to-back -back points. And that's what they needed. as New Bedford smartly calls a timeout as they lost, lost concentration, I believe because of Brockton's good defense and then um, good fortune to hit some shots. The last two times they've come down to court. Oh, 
well, we're hoping everybody's staying, staying safe out there, wearing their masks, uh, keeping their distance as um, vaccines are on their way. So it'll be New Bedford's ball. That'll be Vasquez, the junior small guard. And the Lady Boxers try to put on their own press. And great block. But New Bedford retains the basketball. Long ball, a bomb by Vasquez, no good. And out comes there is uh, Travaris, gives it quickly to Dingle. Get it inside to Tavares. She spins, throws it up. No good. And that's what they need to do. They need to get inside to Tavares. Oh, miscommunication right there. This should be an easy two by Vasquez. And that was just miscommunication, folks, between the um, lady boxes. Almost stolen by number one, Bucha, a sophomore for Ron um, Bedford. And we've got a substitution. Travaris is going to take a break, and uh, 23 Madison comes in. And there's a whistle right there. So it'll be New Bedford's ball with three minutes and 16 seconds left in this second quarter. Dingle comes out of there, but they're gonna call jump ball and it'll be, oh, no, it's a foul. There's a foul on uh, Vasquez. And uh, she might be the smallest basketball player out there on the court, but she is very involved, mixes it up, not afraid to go to the um, hole. And um, she's gonna take a break, well-deserved break. And Miss Dinkle will shoot, will be shooting one, one-on-one, -on -one, and she makes her first free throw attempt. Boxers take a one-point lead with three minutes and two seconds left. 2019. Second free throw attempt is good. So boxers have a two-point lead late in this second quarter. Boxers putting a little pressure on the Lady Whalers. And New Bedford retains the basketball. Brings it to the paint. Shot is nicely blocked, I believe, by number 11, Montero. Got a, her hands on the ball. It's 10 seconds on the shot clock for the Lady Whalers. So good defense there. Whoa. That's a hard foul right there. That was on Enwusu. With the foul. And uh, Burke will go to the free throw line. I believe it's one on one. Shot is no good. Boxes come out of there with the rebound. Throws it, oh! Wow. She just threw it up there. I believe that was number 23, Madison. And 
the Lady Whaler goes crashing into the tripod of one of our cameramen, camera woman. And she held the fort, held onto the camera. And number three, Alexia Thompson, a freshman, the only freshman on this Whaler team. Again, no seniors. And she misses her first free throw attempt. Two minutes, 13 seconds left. It's a 23-19 ball game. Boxers are on top. Second free throw attempt is good. The Boxers got a three point lead. Bedford playing tough D. And because of that tough defense, Brockton turns the ball over. That was uh, Abigail Cherry that lost it. I believe she either stepped out of bounds or the ball went out of bounds as she was dribbling it. Bedford still with the ball, they get into the paint. And she misses the shot. And it's gonna be Fox's ball, so good defense there, putting the pressure on the shooter. And Bedford again comes out with the press. And Bedford takes advantage with the press and gets an easy two. 143 on the clock. Boxers lose it again. Oh, nice block by Cherry. Abigail Cherry made a game, uh, excuse me, a shot saving block. Because that was almost an automatic two. So New Bedford's only down by one because of their aggressive full court press defense. Long three is no good. Rebound, no good. So there was a break there for the boxes. 23-22, they're up by one point with a minute and 15 seconds left in this second quarter. Cherry. A stingle, shakes and bakes, and loses the ball. And it's gonna be New Bedford timeout. Nope, it's a foul. Okay, it is a timeout. Okay, we got a foul and a timeout. Okay, so we got a timeout with one minute, three seconds left in the second quarter. Boxes with a slim one point lead, 23-22 here at Staff Gymnasium. I'm Miles Jackson, bringing you all the basketball action here in the South Shore. And we got a good one. No love lost between these two teams. It's always exciting when they get together, either being the uh, boys or the girls. Less than a minute to go. Whale is in the paint. Back out. Back in. Nice defense. And they're gonna call a jump ball. So Cherry, Abigail Cherry with the good defense gets her hands in there, but it's um, possession is on uh, New Bedford with 42 seconds left in this second quarter. Long three is good from way outside. 24-23. Long three is no good. And 
back quickly comes the Lady Whalers, and nice block by Cherry. Gets those long arms out there. And a good defensive play with 17 seconds left on the clock. Boxes with a thin, no, excuse me, the uh, Lady Whalers with a uh, thin one-point lead, 24-23. And the boxers come out of there. 10 seconds on the clock, and here they come, Lady Boxers. Cherry drives to the basket. Good! Smart play by Cherry, taking it right to the basket as the buzzer goes off. Boxers come out of here in the first half with a 25-24 lead. And it's been a tough fight on both sides. Boxers battling back. They do have their problems on the full court press, but they somehow battled themselves mentally back into this ball game with some good defensive pressure of their own. And so we'll be back in about four minutes with the boxers up 25-24. Okay, well, welcome back everybody to Brockton High Basketball. We've got a good one. Your lady boxers going up against the lady whalers. It's a tight one, 25-24. And we'll see what the Lady Boxers have to show in this second half. I think one of the most important things that the Lady Boxers need to do is just take care of the basketball when they bring it up the court. If they can do that, they have a good chance of coming out of here with a win. But New Bedford knows what the Lady Boxers' weakness is, which is that full court press. So I'm sure they're gonna We'll see that uh, full court press on the Lady Boxers again in this second half by the uh, Lady Whalers. But Brockton will have it first. Abigail, uh, let me see. Abigail Cherry will take the ball out. And she made that last shot of the second quarter just as the buzzer sounded. Nice layup. Dingle with the long bomb, no good. Back come the Whalers. Long shot is no good by Vasquez. Ooh. That was a little scoop shot there. I ain't seen a shot. Somebody shoot that since uh, the Kevin, Mc Kevin McHale days. New Bedford steals it, and Vasquez is foul going to the basket by Cherry. Boxers need to do a better job protecting that basketball as they bring it down the court. So far, just too many turnovers. And Vasquez at the free throw line, been very instrumental in this ball game. Makes the first free throw attempt. 27-26, New Bedford. And Vasquez misses her second free throw attempt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Number 10 forgot where she was at. That was King shooting at the wrong basket. You don't see that too often. And that should be coming on uh, ESPN highlights tonight. And luckily for the Lady Boxers, the shot was missed. They, they don't need to help out the um, New Bedford team. Vasquez with a long bomb is no good. And King comes out of there, gets it to Travares. She's in the corner. Spins, shoots, no good. Lady Boxers put it back up and in and out again. So unfortunately, the ball would not go into basket, but it's still Lady Boxer basketball. Six forty-eight on the clock here in the third quarter. Travaris will inbound the ball. She's looking. Okay, finds Dingle at the top. Dingle again. 
Montero. Oh, in and out. Tough break there. Chavares. King, long bomb. No good. Oh, ah, oh, golden opportunity missed there by number 11, Montero. She couldn't capitalize. Tough break for the Lady Boxes. They had a number of chances, good offensive boards. They just couldn't quite capitalize on that possession. In the corner. Whalers inside, no good. Offensive board is good, and the basket is good. That's number 23, Burke, with the offensive board and puts it back up and in and is fouled with six minutes left in this third quarter. New Bedford has a four point lead, 29 25, and we get some substitutions for the boxes. So that's Bailey Burke at the free throw line. First free throw attempt is good. She has three point play right there. Tingle. Madison, good. That's a three pointer, folks. Box is down by two. In the paint, oh, shot is good. That was Reyes, Tatum Reese. Shot is stolen on by the full court press of um, New Bedford and they're gonna call double dribble on Vasquez. So that's a break for the Lady Boxes. Their Achilles heel is bringing this ball down the court. King. Excuse me, that was King who took the shot. Shot by the Lady Boxers, no good. King puts it up, and in! Navia King. And she's a freshman, I believe. Ooh, Vasquez goes in the paint, no fear. Shot is missed, but offensive rebound by New Bedford. Ooh, that almost looked like a carry or travel. No whistle. And it's gonna be New Bedford's ball with 4.49 on the clock here in the third quarter. Box is down by two, 32-30. Bedford in, inbounds the ball. Stolen! That was stolen by Montero. Nice job defensively. And King will come out, get a break. And that's Madison in. Long three is no good. Big defensive rebound there by New Bedford. Ooh, zip pass in there to Bailey Burke. That was a Magic Johnson zip pass right there before Brock even knew it hit him. 4.15 on the clock. Dingle tries a long bomb. No good. And it's going to be the Bedford's ball. So New Bedford's up 34-30 with four minutes and eight seconds on the clock here in the third quarter. We've got Brockton going up against New Bedford here at Staff Gymnasium. I'm Miles Jackson, bring you all the basketball action here at Staff Gymnasium. Vasquez in the paint and the shot is in and out. Luckily, that was uh, Tatum Reese and she will go to the free throw line for two. So Tatum Reese, a sophomore. It's in and out. And 
her second free throw attempt is good. Increases the Brockton lead, excuse me, the Brockton uh, deficit to five. And there's a whistle. And Coach Margaret Thatcher smartly calls a timeout. She saw her team was in trouble with that full court press. So she calls a timeout with three minutes and 50 seconds left in this third quarter. Brockton's down by five. And they really need to do something here. They don't want it to this uh, lead to increase any. They want to keep it close. As the um, New Bedford Whalers has done a great job on defense and has capitalized, took advantage on their defense and um, manufactured it into points. Box is inbounded. They get it off. Long shot is good! That was number four, Dingle. Big shot there for the boxes. Cuts the deficit to three. Okay, that must have been a two, two shot by Dingle, so it's not a three-point shot, it's a two-pointer, 35-32. Battling for the ball. So New Bedford will bring the ball in. They're up by three. And they're gonna call a foul. I believe on in in Wusu. On a blocking foul. New Bedford will take it out again. Into Vasquez, she shoots a long three, no good. Dingle. Oh, that was Madison, and she tried to get it to Dingle, but New Bedford stole the ball. Shot is thrown up there. Shot is blocked. And here comes Travaris out of the pack. And here come the Lady Boxes. Goes to the hoop. Shot is just missed. Rebound, shot is missed again. Dingle with it in the paint. Tries to throw one up and is partially blocked. Madison comes out of there with the ball. Dribbles by the opponent, throws it up. Shot is no good. And back come the New Bedford Whalers. Shot is no good. And here come the Lady Boxes. Ill-advised pass is stolen again. So we're going back and forth like a pinball machine. And they're gonna call it jump ball. And it's the uh, Brockton's possession. We're gonna get some fresh bodies in the, in the game. Three, as a matter of fact, for the Lady Boxes and one for New Bedford. So a lot of action in those last couple of minutes. Not a lot of points scored, but a lot of action. And they're gonna call a blocking foul on Vasquez, number four. Again, she is not afraid to mix it up. She looks like about four foot, four foot 10. Shot is up, no good. And a jump ball, it'll be New Bedford's ball with two minutes and seven seconds left in this third quarter. Boxes down by three. Ooh, that was a nice move. Going right to the hole by Vanessa Butchett. A sophomore. Thank you. 
Madison loses the ball as she was gone to the basket. Tough break there with a minute and 30 seconds left in this third quarter. Vasquez, bang! The lady killer. Makes the shot, makes the big three-point shot. Extends the lead for uh, New Bedford to eight points. And stolen by New Bedford. And they missed the layup. And Dangles somehow tries to come out of here, passes it to Cherry. She lays it up and in. With one minute left on the clock, boxes down by six. Nice job there by Dangle and Cherry. Vasquez off the rim. Offensive boards. Shot is air ball, and it'll be Brockton's ball. So we've got another substitution change by both teams. Coach Stature wanted to give uh, give Tavares a rest. Got her back in there, and also in Wusu. Shot, underhanded shot, no good. And it's gonna, they're gonna give it to New Bedford. With 27 seconds left in this third quarter. Box is still down by 640 to 34. And New Bedford's taking their time on this uh, possession, and it's stolen. Jerry, but she can't get it to her teammate, Dingle. So New Bedford comes back with 12 seconds on the clock. In the paint, throws it up and in. Block. Break down the defense right there. Brockman let him come right in the paint and threw up a prayer and it went in as, as time ran out here in the third quarter. So the boxers are now down by 10 points going into the fourth quarter. And Coach Stature has her hands full trying to get her team back in this ball game. Basically, they've really been in the ball game. Oh, well, it's an eight-point lead. The score clock, uh, scoring official has adjusted it. 34-42. And um, Coach Stature is trying to motivate her team and telling them what to do to get out of this mess. And get back in this thing. If they can just get back into a three points, two points, or even take the lead, anything could happen here in the final couple of minutes of this ball game. This is BCA Sports. I'm Miles Jackson. Here at Staff Gymnasium. As everybody knows, we finally got a little snow here in Brockton. It's been a while since December we've had any snow. Not that we're looking for it, but so far it's been a pretty good winter. Okay, both teams come back out on the court for this final quarter. Been a very active game, back and forth, both teams down the court. A lot of steals on both sides, but New Bedford does have the uh, advantage Montero throws it up, in and out. Travaris somehow comes out of there with the rebound. She shakes, bakes out top to Cherry. As Brockton works it around the horn in the corner. 
inside. Oh, spin move, nice move by Nuusu. Nice body control by the young lady. Long bomb is good. Back come the, that's Gordon. Back come the Whalers with a big three. 45-36. Cherry, back to Dingle. Inside, so to Javaris. Oh, in and out. Ooh, nice pass. Oh, lays it in. Nice steal there by Montero, and she throws it off the glass and in. Cherry steals the ball, and she is fouled. So two nice plays right there by the boxes. Let's see if they can capitalize. Cherry at the free throw line, Abigail. A junior. First free throw attempt is no good. Second free throw attempt, no good. And New Bedford comes out of a long pass. And jump ball, nice defensive play. I couldn't see who made the play, but nice defensive play there. Possibly dangled. But it'll be New Bedford's ball out of bounds with 6.39 on the clock. Tatum Reese wiggles her way in the paint and puts it in. Brockton can ill afford to let New Bedford come in there like that. Top of the key, Javaris muscles her way in there, lays it up and in. Nice job by Javaris. Bounce pass, cross court, in the paint, back out. Long shot is an air ball. And the boxes come out of there with the ball. 5.43 on the clock, boxes down by seven. Cherry's asking one of her players to come over. That's Mont oh, Tavares throws it up, no good, gets her own rebound. Puts it back up, still no good. Another Brockton rebound. Dingle, no good. Montero, Lady Boxers are fighting underneath on the offensive rebounds and it's no good. And it'll be um, New Bedford's ball. Great effort by the Boxers, but they really needed to put that ball in the, in the basket with 519 on the clock. Here come the Lady Whalers. Boxers luck out on that one. That was a little bit too easy for the Whalers, and fortunately for the Boxers, they missed a shot. Dingle. Cherry at the top. Back to Dingle. Montero in the paint, throws it up, no good. Box is passing around D uh, Dingle, no good. And that'll be Box of Basketball. So Box is giving themselves opportunities on the offensive boards, but they just seem to can't capitalize when they need to. So Cherry will take it out of bounds, back out top to Dingle. She reads the defense into Travari, she goes in the paint. Cherry, Madison, in the paint, shot is missed. And they're gonna call, I believe a jump ball in this Brockton's ball. Possession for Brockton, 417.
Boxes need a basket. Dingle in the paint, throws it up. And before the shot, there's a foul, blocking foul, so it'll be Brock uh, Box's ball. Madison back to, and it's stolen. And let's see, is it, it's gonna be Box, luckily it's Lady Box's basketball. Four minutes, three seconds to go in this ball game. We've got a number of substitutions, Travaris is back out there. Okay, Dingle's got it at the top. They get it back to Dingle from Tavares. She's looking. Montero in the corner. She drives, throws it. Shot is missed. And Dubefe comes out of the pack with it, and somehow Lady Boxes get it back. Dingle. And they're going to call a pushing foul on New Bedford. I believe that was on number 23, Bailey Burke, as Dingle tried to bring it down the court with 3.36 on the clock. Box is still down by seven points, 47 to 40. They need to make something happen. Ooh, Montero throws it up. Rebound boxes. No good. And New Bedford comes out of there. Another tough break. Boxes couldn't capitalize. Vasquez, no good. And they're going to give it to uh, New Bedford as Travaris was fighting for the rebound. And they will take it out over there on the sidelines. Inside. Shot is good by number 23. Big shot right there by Bailey Burke. She used her body, threw it in there off the glass inside the red paint. And Coach Thatcher smartly calls a timeout with three minutes and five seconds left in this ball game. It's getting really tight now. It's 40 to 49. Boxers need to get some, get some points. Got a little cold spur in his last minute or two, which has cost them as New Bedford lead has increased. Nine points with three minutes to go. That's a tall order for the Lady Boxers, but they can do it. It's just now they have to make some baskets. And you can see Coach Thatcher pointing to the offensive end of the Lady Boxers and letting them realize these you need to make some baskets. We need points. I mean, you, you, the Lady Box are giving themselves the opportunity as they're getting two and three attempts on the offensive boards, but they just seem to cannot capitalize. Okay, so here come the boxes. And it's gonna be Lady Boxer basketball. New Bedford still with the full, port, full court press. And it's going to be Brockton Ball. Long pass. Not a good pass by Cherry. I know she was trying to get it over there to Vasquez, excuse me, to uh, Travares, but uh, that was not the pass that you want to make when you're down by nine points and you've only got three minutes and two seconds left. Okay. Cherry putting a lot of pressure on the inbound pass from Vasquez, and they're going to get somebody a little bit taller to make that inbounds pass. They get it in the paint quickly. 
to Burke, and she makes another big play. Same play. Uses her body to shield the ball and just puts it up and in, and Travares comes out. She, she might have been, I'm not sure what happened, but she comes out. Rock them with the ball. They break the press, get it up quickly. Dingle, looking for something, drives, and she dishes it off, unfortunately, to the wrong opponent. And Cherry tries to block it, but Vasquez somehow gets that shot off and in. Chance for a three-point play here with two minutes, 39 seconds left on the clock. Vasquez with a big game this evening, a junior, showing her skills, her leadership skills. Misses the first free throw attempt, actually the only free throw attempt. That was a three-point play shot. And Vasquez, who else but her, but she loses it. Cherry, Madison, bang! Big three-pointer right there with two minutes and 21 seconds left. They've cut the deficit down to 10. That just goes to show you it just hasn't been a, a good fourth quarter for the Lady Boxers. They cannot make many shots. And New Bedford has made many shots. And that's why there's a 10-point lead with only two minutes and 21 seconds to go. So it's been a tough night for the Lady Boxers as far as getting that ball in the basket, especially when they've had two and three tries to get it up in there. And of course, they're still having a tough time on the press, trying to get the ball up the court. And it has cost them this evening. And Coach Thatcher is not happy with the way things are going in this fourth quarter, and I don't blame her. So New Bedford's gonna take it out. Almost stolen on the press. Lady Boxes just couldn't quite hold on to it. Montero had a chance, she didn't have her hands open. Vasquez. Takes it out of there, dribbles her way out of there with it. Burke, back to Vasquez. And Brockton comes out of there. And it's a blocking foul on Vasquez. She may be small for New Bedford, but she uses her body when necessary, she is not afraid. Montero. Shot is no good. And they're gonna call a foul on Madison. With one minute and 42 seconds to go, Box is still down by 10 points. And is a one-on-one -on -one at the other end. Vasquez will shoot the free throws. And it's a one-on-one, -on -one, so let's see if she makes that first shot. She's a pretty good free throw shooter. And she does make her first free throw attempt. 11-point Lady Boxer deficit. Second free throw attempt is good. Cherry coming down. Madison in and out. Minute 30 seconds to go and back come the Whalers. Shot is no good. And they get their own rebound. And Coach Pina tells them to slow it down.
Dangle is in there, and they try to get it out to Madison. She's there. She's going to throw it up. No good. Cherry. And they're going to give it to Brockton. And Coach Thatcher takes out four of her players and puts four new ones in, and she is not, not happy with the uh, defensive pressure the Lady Boxers did not put on that last New Bedford possession. I believe she at least wanted a foul. Less than a minute to go, folks. Shot is no good by, that was by Madison. Tyasia, number three. And Chavares will take it out for the Lady Boxers. 46 seconds to go. Madison throws it up. No good. And out of there comes New Bedford with the ball. And New Bedford smartly brings it back out top with 30 seconds to go. They know they've got this one in the bag. So they'll have a nice, nice ride home back to New Bedford with a with a win coming out of Staff Gymnasium. Inside, inside the paint. And they lose it. So with 19 seconds left, it'll be New Bedford's ball. And referees are consulting each other, and it definitely is New Bedford's ball. Bedford gets it over half court, and they're going to call jump ball. So it's Brockton's possession with 10 seconds left. A 12-point deficit for the boxers. Dingle tries to pass it off, gets it. Ah, shot is missed. As uh, Montero, Ava Montero, could not take advantage couldn't get it off the glass and in. So four seconds to go. The Lady Boxers will fall to New Bedford. And the buzzer has sounded. So unfortunately, the Lady Boxers come out here with a loss. <laughs> it was a good effort, it's just that um, New Bedford found their weakness, which was uh, the full court press. And the Lady Boxers just, they got a lot of rebounds. They just couldn't put the ball back in the basket to make it a little bit closer. So folks, there you have it. New Bedford comes down here to Stab Gymnasium and gets a big win, a 12 point win, fifth, excuse me, a yeah, 12 point, 55, 43 win over your Lady Boxers. I'm Miles Jackson. Well, again, well, before I sign off, we'd like to thank our, our crew, our BCA sports crew, for doing a nice job on cameras and down in the in the um, in the tech van. So again, this is Miles Jackson, bringing you all the action again here at Staff Gymnasium. Hopefully, we'll have the boys on Friday night. We'll see everybody until then. Everybody, have a nice evening.